All right, here we go. Um, so I'm here with Jamal. We just uh, chatted a little bit off camera about uh, his background in golf. Uh, he's been around the game for a long time, just looking for more consistency. Uh, when you do play golf, what would be like a good round for you? trying to break under 100. Okay. Still, still getting the, the beginning stages. Right All right. Yep. So uh, first thing I want to look at is uh, your setup. So let's take this setup together. So the way we're going to do it is we're straight up and down. Knees, hips, shoulders, everything's neutral. Shoulder width. You want to get nice and wide as a big tall guy. Give it a little micro bend in your knees. That gets the weight into the balls of your feet. Go like that and then bring the upper spine down to meet the ball. It's gonna look like you're hunched over grandpa. He calls it grandpa posture. Okay. And then uh, we gotta take a look at the grip. The grip is holding you back. So we're gonna start with the club in our right hand behind our right heel. Kind of like poke that. it into the back and then see wherever you just kind of grip that naturally. Okay, bring it out in front of you and let's see what we got. Okay, open this up. And there's a line here that I want you to kind of show the camera here. It's gonna work like this through your palm. Okay. That pad is there for a reason. So ideally, we can balance this thing under this fatty pad on our right hand. So you can hold the club upright with just those bottom couple fingers. Okay, take this one off. See if you can balance it under this meaty pad in your hand. Gotcha. It kind of creates a, a fulcrum point. It just makes it a stronger right hand grip. Okay. Okay, that's better. All right, let's just try a few with that. The main principle I wanna get is for you to be able to sit at home on the couch and be able to hold the club like this with just these three fingers. The thumb and the pointer finger are off. Beauty. Way back to here, and then mirror it on the other side. Okay, probably gonna feel a lot more shoulder turn than you're used to. Let's just try a few where you feel like you're starting to turn that chest more, and you should start really ripping it. Load. It's like an athletic, it's, it's going to feel loaded. How's that? Tight. Crazy? Yeah. And it might just be that you got a, you got tight chest, tight shoulders, and so stretching is, is what can help that out. But let's just see if we can try a couple where we get that coil feel, like, like where I was twisting you in and you had like a lot of potential energy where, where you're just going to go whoosh, all the way around the other side because we're so loaded. Okay. Show me that again from scratch. Okay. The chest turning is what moves the arms. 
Yeah. Okay. Come with me, hold on to it, and just kind of hold on to it. Boom. To there. That's so awesome. Does that feel like weird? Yep. <laughs> okay, a couple more if you don't mind. Just you feel like this chest turns is the first thing off the ball. Just get it moving early. There you go. Yes, you're starting to get it. So it comes as one piece back and around. That knee is bending. There we go. And we get to there. Boom. Okay, no swing thoughts. You're on the beach. As long as the ball touches the water, it's a perfect shot. Okay. See what you got. See what comes out naturally now after all this, these shenanigans. As long as the ball touches water, it's a perfect shot. Beauty. We, uh, we talked about the posture when we came in. I saw your armpits kind of hanging out here in front of your feet. As a big tall guy, we want to use that to our advantage. So we start out tall, micro bend in the knees, around just above the belly button, upper spine gets you down to the ball. It's going to feel like grandpa. It's crazy. They can't be teaching golf this way. This is insane. The reason that we're doing that is we can go up, so then we have room, Watch, just kind of watch how I'm going up. This, this is where that pivot comes in. We can go up, see how this, is, this angle is being created in my hips, up. That left knee is going towards that left toe, or for you, it's that right knee going right toe up. See where our back is, facing the target. We're coiled. That way, when we're coiled, we've got, and tall, we got room to go down and around.